Welcome to Research World. In this video, we will discuss which tense to use in writing articles dissertations. Let's begin. While writing your article's dissertation, one can use several tenses, depending on the subject of your sentence. Choosing the correct verb tense for each section of a scientific manuscript can be challenging, but it is worth the effort. While providing background details use present tense, for example, the Green HRM is already known for its efforts to improve the environment-friendly practices. When the research activity use simple past tense, present perfect tense for example, the study focused on multiple aspects. The framework for green economy has been developed. When describing methods use simple past tense active or passive for example, we carried out a series of statistical tests. When presenting results use simple past tense for example, Results indicated that the green HRM practices are not fully being implemented. When stating conclusions use present tense tense for example, this indicates that there are multiple factors in following green HRM. In academic writing, the three tenses widely used are the simple present, the simple past, and the present perfect. Simple present. Use the simple present to describe a general truth. For example, insurance companies usually provide coverage against future perils. Simple past. Use the simple past tense to describe a completed action that took place at a specific point in the past. Example. Clark. 1977 examined several banking policies. Present perfect. Use the present perfect to indicate an action that occurred at a nonspecific time in the past. For example, multiple researchers have used this technique. Use past tense when research methods or results are discussed using researchers' name as the subject. For example, Kumar, 1999 developed a set of instructions for determination of the indexes for benchmarking. Present tense is used when commenting on a researcher's work, discussing their results, and drawing conclusions. Simple past tense should be used in this section as here you discuss the work experiments that you have done. Example, in the selected geographic areas for the study, 20 random focal plants were picked as points for the experiments. Present tense should be used to refer to any tables, figures, or illustrations. Example, Table 01 above shows the relationship between. Past tense should be used while reporting your results. Example, We observed that there was no significant statistical difference in two groups. Simple present tense should be used to explain diagrams, figures, tables. Example, Table 4 above demonstrates. Present tense should be used to interpret and discuss the important findings. For example, the devaluation of home currency appears to negatively affect the importer's confidence. Simple past should be used to summarize one's findings. Example, majority of the students demonstrated low tendency to towards physical sports. Present tense is used by the author while giving final thoughts and concluding statements. If the author suggests potential research gaps or makes recommendations about the usage of the study findings, as well as scope for further research, the future tense is used. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and press bell icon for upcoming videos.